In this video, I'll show you how we can use progress bar in Metri Divided. So we have two different types of progress bar. One is called circular progress and another is called linear progress. For circular progress, we need to use this component. It's defined in Metri Divided code. And if I use it directly here, then you can see this is the circular progress bar. So let me add some margin from it okay so this is the circular progress bar we can also change the color of this progress bar so suppose i'm adding it as secondary then it will change it to secondary color this is called indeterminate progress bar we can also change it to determinant so for that i i need to use one proper property called variant so for the variant i can pass it as determinant now if i run it then it's not showing the progress bar because we need to add one value for this so we can add one value from 0 to 100 so suppose it is 25 then you can see that it is showing only 25 percent if i give it as 50 then it will show only the 50 percent of the progress bar so in a real application then this value will be changed like periodically once something is done suppose we are downloading something we can update the progress bar based on the download percentage so let me use one timer and simulate this behavior for that i am going to create one variable level and it is set level for that i am going to use the state as zero this is the initial state so this level i'm going to set it for this progress bar here and here i'm going to add one timer so i'm using use effect and here i'm creating one timer variable so using set interval we can set the timer to run periodically so here i am sending the level so suppose it is new level and if the new level that means what we are setting is greater than equal to zero uh, sorry 100 then we are setting it as zero else we are setting we are incrementing it by 10. this timer will run after 800 milliseconds okay, let me send it to 500 so it will run continuously on its 500 millisecond and it will sense the level it will increment the level by uh, 10. so once it is done then we'll clear the uh, interval okay now if we see then it is incrementing like on its 500 millisecond okay now let's move to linear progress for linear progress we need to use one component it's called linear progress so it is also defined in same materiality by code so let me give one width for this so what it is 200 okay so this is the linear progress bar this is the indeterminate linear progress bar so we can also give the variant as determinant so it's similar to the circular progress bar that we created so here also we need to give one value let me use the same value that we used before for the circular progress bar suppose it is level then it is incrementing like by 10 on its 500 interval We have one more variant for linear progress bar it's called buffer so this type of buffer linear progress is used if we are streaming something then we can have two uh two progress we need to show like one is for buffering value and the another is for the current playing value or current downloading value so here we need to pass two properties here one is value and the another is called value buffer so for the value buffer suppose i am adding it as level plus 10 
okay now you can see that this buffering value is moving uh, ahead of this uh, current progress value so this types of linear progress is called buffer linear progress so these are the basics of progress bar in with really react so if you love this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions please drop one comment below thanks bye